What's good, Ravens flock? Today, we are going to talk about the five most disappointing Ravens of the first half of the season. It's going to be sad, but we're going to get into it. We're going to start with the number one most disappointing Raven of the 2022 season so far, and that has to be Rashad Bates. Rashad is the most disappointing receiver for a couple of reasons. First, when he was on the field, he just wasn't as productive as the Ravens needed him. When we traded Hollywood Brown to the Cardinals, we're basically saying that you are enough to be the number one receiver and fill in the gap that Hollywood Brown left. Not only that, the Ravens really did not address the receiver position this offseason, so the confidence in Rashad Bateman was also to go above and beyond and fill in the gap that was already there. We did a poor job of helping Lamar Jackson this season, and the big reason is because we relied too much on Rashad Bateman. This also then manifested in an injury to the receiver, which is going to make the rest of the season null and void for him. We made a mistake by letting go of Hollywood Brown without bringing on additional receiver help to help out the offense. Bateman is currently ranked 81st out of 112 receivers on Pro Football Focus with a Pro Football Focus grade of 61.6, less than average and in the back half of the receivers in the league. Though he's had moments of bright sparks like in Miami, it still has been a disappointing season overall and he's been outplayed by receivers like Devin Duvernay. So again, he has to be the most disappointing player for the first half of the Ravens season and because of the injury, he'll probably be the most disappointing player for the rest of the year. The next most disappointing player, in my opinion, is Adafi Owe. Adafi Owe is disappointing because he is not having a giant impact on the offense the way I personally thought he would. I thought Adafi Owe is going to take the next step this year and become one of the best Baltimore Ravens defenders, but he's nowhere close to that. Owe has not been providing the pass rush that I think we expected he would, and he's also not putting fear in a quarterback's hearts the way we all expected he would. We're going to need him to step up in the second half of the season if we really think he can grow and mature. Let's just list some of the reasons we think he's disappointing. First, he has one sack on the entire season. A player of his stature, his skill, of his body type should not just have one sack on the season. Second, he has terrible rankings when they compare to other players and even compared to himself from last season. He's actually performing worse per pro football focus than he did in his rookie year. And when it comes to his own team, he's being outperformed by players like Justin Houston. This is just not good enough for a Baltimore Ravens defense that is in need of consistent pass rush. Adafi Owe has the skills to pay the bills. He's shown us that he has that potential, but he needs to take that next step and become a premier pass rusher in the National Football League. And right now, he's just not doing it. You guys let me know what you think about Adafi Owe in the comments below. We'll move on to number three. My number three most disappointing player of the first half of the season is James Prochet. Now, James Prochet is going to be one of these players that I will always have a side eye for because of the amount of preseason hype he gets every single year. I don't understand how someone can be talked about so immensely in the preseason, but when it gets to the field, just has no chance of getting open. Now again, during the first half of the season, he has been injured and injuries do play a role. However, I just have not been impressed by James Prochet. I have not been impressed by the receiving core as a whole, except for one player. And I honestly think Prochet, who's leading the hype train every single year, has to step up and play better. There's no reason why you should be getting all this hype in the preseason. But when it comes to the regular season, you're getting outperformed by our players like Demarcus Robinson, who weren't on the team to start the year. So again, we need James Prochet to step up, become that shifty slot receiver, improve his grading, become better at all aspects of the game, and then we will have a receiver that we can depend on. Also, James Prochet needs to knock off some of the crazy penalties that he gets. We've seen him get a couple of penalties for unsportsmanlike conduct which is not acceptable for a player who isn't providing to the team in a tangible way on offense. Again, if Devin DuVernay wants to get an unspokesman conduct, we'll live with that because Devin DuVernay impacts the game. James Prochet does not, and James Prochet needs to do a better job week in and week out of putting numbers on the board. Again, blocking is important. I think he does a good job of that, but it's also important to catch the ball. Now, the number four most disappointing player, I will have to say, is Brandon Stevens. Uh, Brandon Stevens has been disappointing because I just don't think he has been stepping up in that role of that slot receiver 
that we all thought that he was going to be. Now, he's been playing it, and he's been playing it effectively, but I do think that when teams target him, he often fails. As the season has gone on, he's been getting exposed less. But I do not think it's because he's playing better. Honestly, I think it's because the Ravens are putting him on less valuable targets. For example, in the beginning of the season when Marcus Peters was hurt, he was playing the number two receiver. Now, because Marcus Peters is back, they're going to slot him into the slot and play on the number three receiver, sometimes the number four receiver. Stevens just has to be better for a defense that is ranked as one of the worst defenses in the league currently. Now, we're hoping that we're going to get better as more players come back as we add pieces like Roquan Smith. But the slot receiver is a vital role in today's NFL, and Brandon Stevens needs to show up and show out. He's playing better than our rookie corners, so he's going to be in the game. But with a pro football focus coverage rating of 48.5, which is one of the worst, and currently ranked as the 91 best cornerback in the league, he has to do better, and we need him if we're going to be a defense that steps up and becomes one of the best defenses when it comes to playoff time. Now, we're going to go to our last most disappointing player, and this one is Mike Davis. Mike Davis didn't have high expectations coming into the year for many of us Ravens fans, but with the injuries to running back, I honestly thought that he would get some time, he would be valuable, he would be like that old veteran who was able to get three yards when you need it. However, he just has not been that. He's been replaced by every single running back the Ravens have brought on. Gus Edwards came on and replaced him. J.K. Dobbins came on and started over him, and we weren't surprised about that. But Ken Drake came on and started over him. Justice Hill came on and started over him. He's just been disappointing and has literally been beat out by four other running backs. And again, for a veteran, this might be his last stint in the NFL. I don't know what teams would take him other than they need a running back body um, in a cheap salary cap hit. Currently, he is not rated very highly. Um, again, I don't even know if he has enough snaps to even be ranked. Um, it's just been it's just been a bad showing from him. I think Mike Davis is going to be one of those players that may stay around the league. Again, he's good at pass blocking, uh, but he's just not good at the other things that the Ravens need, like running the football, um, like receiving out the backfield, things like that. He's just, he's just past his prime. Nothing against him personally. He's had a great career, but he's just not going to be able to keep up with these young guys who are dominating the field in today's football game. So that is it, guys. Those are our people, our choices for the most disappointing players. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Also, please subscribe. We need you guys to subscribe and watch the videos. It helps us grow. We're trying to get to 10,000 subscribers, so we need you guys' help. Thank you guys so much, and go Ravens.